Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Zach Lasage here and you are watching the Rare Candy TCG YouTube channel. Today we're going to be covering over Sandicana V with its Sand Breath attack doing 220 damage and Colossal, one of the Rebel Clash cards using its Tar Generator ability. And hold up right there, if you are missing any of these wonderful cards on PTCGO, you can go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code RAREcandy and you can save 5% off your order. But if you're one of our patrons by joining at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg, we do have an extra special discount code for you there. So be sure to peep that out. Hopping back into this deck profile. The goal of this deck is to keep on smashing that sand breath over and over again, doing 220 damage. And you can do upwards of 240 damage with Diancy Prism Star. How do you get the energies back that you discard with sand breath? Well, the ability tar generator totally gets you there. So fire and fighting is a little bit weird, but we can get the fire in the discard pile and you only discard two energies. So you can always power this Pokemon up in one quick kind of swift motion where you're like attach a fighting tar generator for a fighting fire. So you can keep on using that over and over again. We tossed in our new home slice nine tails V. So we got the nine tailed shape shifter. And if you're a Naruto fan, like I am, it's a busted attack name. So we could copy whatever attack they got going on in the active spot. So Ninetales V seems like it's all big chilling. And we got it in the Jirachi kind of package going on here. So pretty basic deck. I mean, some people are going to get upset that it's a Jirachi engine, but that's how we make these rare candy decks work. That's how we make decks consistent. I mean, I'm sure it's got to be some kind of good. So let's see if it's working. Let, let's jump right into some games and check that out right now. Okay, so we lost the coin flip. Temiyapa, if I'm pronouncing that any kind of correctly, is going to choose if they're going to go first or second. They're going to first. And we're going to start here with Sandaconda. It's a pretty chonk boy. That should be pretty cool. I mean, we have the opportunity to put Roly Coley on our bench, but we're going to wait. Our opponent can't play a Marty on the first turn. And I mean, I don't think they're going to reset our stamp, our hand of the six. So us playing against an ADP deck, we'll see if we're able to live up to the hype. This is definitely a new deck um, in Rebel Clash. Seeing how it works on the ladder for one of the first few times. I've played around with this deck a little bit in real life. But we'll see if it can live up to the hype on the ladder right now. I think it's going to be one of those things where we hit for a Sand Eater really early. Diancy Prism Star seems super important. Maybe we'll be able to Marty our opponent out of a good start anyways. So as you can see... I think we're already in an okay-ish position. We just need to find a fighting energy in general. And I'd like to just go for something else, but I think we really just need to get it. Like, it's one of those things where I want to just get a fighting energy out. We have Viridian. Uh, Marnie, your professor's research. Marnie, your professor's research. I gotta go Marnie. Our opponent has way too many cards in hand. And we did get the fighting energy. I mean... This, this ain't a bad start. It would have been nice to get another Fighting Energy in the discard pile because we could have powered up with Sand Eater. But you want to know what? We do have a Fighting and a Fire in our hand that we can kind of get a knockout or that we can kind of put in our discard pile with Professor's Research. So if we get Rare Candy Colossal, we might be able to get a knockout turn two. Which is kind of a big deal. The Diancy Prism Star is doing big work hitting those important numbers, even though 240 is not necessarily the biggest number. Combining it with the big old 50 damage from Sand Eater, got some good vibes going on here. And if our opponent doesn't get out, um, oh, it looks like they're going to get out of Dene here, actually. And they play the Guzma Hala version. True, so then it looks like they play Special Energies. Oh, they already had it from the beginning. I mean, they have nothing to worry about here. They're going to get off their Altered Creation. I mean, if we just get the turn to attack off, we could do a lot of things in this matchup. And Sand Breath, oh no, it looks like we're just going to be slightly short to get past that uh, Metal Frying Pan. I mean, we do play a Tool Scrapper for reasons like such. So we'll see if that ends up working out for us. I think our opponent just got to go for the Altered Creation. We got to try to get the Rare Candy. The big struggle about the Rare Candy decks here is that we need to find Rare Candy. It's not a readily, readily available card. Readily available card. Yeah. 
Um, Skyla from this set, Rebel Clash, is a good way for us to get things out. And another card that I've been considering adding into this deck would be Martial Arts Dojo, so we can increase the 240 to 280. But it depends on how much play ADP is going to see. So we'll see how that uh, ends up going on. I mean, I think our opponents just got it. Okay, getting a Metal Saucer there is kind of hot. Okay, there's the Altered Creation. Hopefully we can get into a rare candy here. Don't know if there's any point of us going with an escape board. I mean, we might as well put it down there. And we actually want to pitch this hand away, because if we don't end up getting it, we don't end up getting it. Let's see this rare candy colossal, please. And we're gonna get that big old knockout. That's kind of insane though. I'm just gonna build this up. Just so we have an extra energy on it. I mean, I think we have enough. Let's just go for the tar generator here. There's that. We can always just go energy there and we're good to go sand breath. So the sand breath drawing three prize cards on our second turn, knocking out the ADP. And this deck should just be working exactly like this right now. I mean, even if we don't win this game, I think we're in an okay enough position where we, we gave it our all here. <laughs> The Zation is going to be a little bit difficult to knock out at times, but we'll see how, uh, if we're able to find our Tool Scrapper, if we can start getting those one shots. They also need to find a Metal Saucer, and they need to get an Energy in order to power this dude up. So, I mean, I'm not, ooh, are they going to feed us a Dedenne? Jeez, this is wild and... Okay, let's put out this. Let's put out, uh, let's see what we can do with Pokemon communication first here. I mean, I'm just going to get out another Roly Coly. Don't necessarily care too much for the other Sandaconda right now. And let's go for, let's actually just pitch away this with a Viridian, just to get another card at the bottom of the deck. Let's go for the Marty, and hopefully we can get a Tool Scrapper or something. It's a great catcher, I mean, we can't really great catcher anything busted up, but let's just put the other Sandaconda down, let's get an energy there. And let's go Tar Generator. So you can see if you're if if you've been playing the game for a little bit, this is very similar to Tapu Bulu Vigavolt. Kind of a spiritual reprint of Sandaconda Colossal. So whether you're a Sandaconda fan, a Colossal fan, a Vika Bulu, Bulu Volts fan, this deck would be right up your alley. I think this is a great deck for beginners to Pokemon or newcomers to the game or players who are looking to kind of build their way deck looks like it could be i mean it's doing pretty good so far we're on our third turn and we're down to one prize card left this deck might be the real deal sandaconda over and over again is just kind of busted so we'll see if we're able to find that tool scrapper there's not too many cards left in our deck so if we're able to get there we're gonna win this game our opponent's got to go through uh two sandacondas since they did use altered creation gx with Arceus Dalga Palkia. So looks like they're just gonna retreat and hit that uh hit that knockout. And unless they play reset stamp, our hand's pretty okay here. So I mean we'll see exactly how it goes. We gotta find a tool scrapper in our tiny little deck. If they bench another GX Pokemon, please put a Dedenne GX down on the bench. Because we steal the game with great catcher. I mean, I guess we also have uh, boss's orders in this deck. So that's an opportunity as well. Last turn we used Marnie, right? Just double check in here. Yeah, we played Marnie, so I actually don't want to shuffle first. We have a higher chance of just putting things at the bottom. So we got boss's orders. We have one prize card left until we win the game. And this is a Pokemon we can attack with too. It can hit for 150. 
So, I mean, we just want to knock out the Oranguru or the Absol. Even if we had one prize card left, we could get the Zacian. So, I mean, let's go with Jirachi in the active spot. There's a switch. Let's go Stellar Wish here. We don't have it there yet. Okay, so let's go Quick Ball. So, we're actually going to go... Um, Pokemon communication away this nine tails and we're gonna grab a Dedenne GX yeah and we're gonna go quick ball discarding a fighting energy just gonna grab another card I mean we got a lot of outs in our deck so we're, we're pretty close to getting it. We're going to go Jirachi. Just thin that out. We're going to thin out another copy. If our opponent had a GX, we just had to steal it with the Great Catcher. Let's go switch here into Sandaconda. And we're going to pitch this all away. Please, please, please. And we got the boss's orders. So let's actually just go um, Tar Generator, just so our opponent doesn't scoop the game here. We might have been able to get it off of Marnie as well. Let's bring up this, and we're going to knock that out with Sand Breath. Well played. So we got that one. All right, we lost a flip and Outlaw 1225 is going to be deciding what's going on over here. I mean, this is not a bad hand by any means. So let's see exactly how it goes. So if you're just tuning in now, we're playing in Santa Conda. Okay, Santa Conda going against Dragapult. The resistance is going to kill us. Oh no. That's going to be a big problem here. So Santa Conda might not necessarily do the best against Dragapult decks. So we'll see how that plays out. I mean, we're still exploring this Rebel Clash format. Either myself personally, Rare Candy, I'm sure y'all are doing the same thing as me. We're going to do a lot of findings um, when we got things going on here. So let's see exactly how this match plays out. Our opponent has all the cool flex cards. Oh, no energies. We might be able to do something then. Okay. So let's go Pokemon Communication. Let's put this here. I want to get out a Rolicoli with 70 HP. So that's pretty cool. Let's go this. We're going to choose the Marnie just so we have options. I mean, I think we're going to go Professor's Research. And we should also check through the deck as well. I'm just going to go in with Research. Try to get something going on over here. So we did get a Viridian Forest, which means we are able to... Kind of get set up here let's go in with i mean we're not going to build up any extra energies anyways let's actually it's possible let's do this let's put um let's primate wisdom this on top of the deck okay so it looks like we got the turn two colossal we're just trying to get out of the active spot that's our second Santa Conda. Uh, let's go Stellar Wish, see if we can get something out of here first. Okay, I think it's important for us to attack. Let's just go um, this. We're going to discard the Roly Coley. I don't think our opponent's going to attack going into it really quickly. So let's try to do some damage here. Switch into the Santa Conda. And we're ready with Sand Eater. We're only doing 10. Oh no, we're not even doing 10. I don't even know why. I always think resistance is minus 20. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have uh, played it out like that. Y'all are watching me at my worst here. Um, that's just showing kind of how the resistance in this matchup might add up. I don't know if our opponent's just going to go for a straight 60. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they're going to go 60 because they got the big old shred. Now Dragapult's laughing. They don't got the rainbow one though. I'm surprised. Oh no, our hand with the Colossal. I mean, this ain't bad either. It's not terrible. It's just not ideal in comparison to what we want here. 
So as long as we do the strategy with our deck, it might not beat Dragapult VMAX. As you can see, resistance absolutely kills us, but we'll, we'll see exactly how far we can make it in this match. We still got a decent bit of HP. We're only worth two prize cards. We might be okay. They only got two cards in their hands. Oh no, we got a second one. Okay, it's moments like this where we're, this is why we play Guru to save particular cards. We're gonna put that away. Let's go Primate Wisdom. Hopefully it's not another Colossal. Are you serious? Come on. Uh, I'm gonna put Ninetales down. Ninetales V might actually be busted. I mean, at least we already know we have a Colossal in the top card of our deck. Maybe we'll get the Rare Candy too. That'd be kind of amazing. Oh, doesn't look like it's going to be too amazing for us here. Let's just go boss's orders. Bring up this. Had we discarded something, we could have got... Uh, had I discarded a fighting energy, we could have got the Sand Eater power up. But I mean, we can get it next turn anyways. It's not that big of a deal. I also could have put a skateboard on Jirachi, but I just want to see if our opponent brings up something. If we're able to get it out of the active spot. If anything, I want to keep my hand large in case they try to Marty me again. Okay, so they only have the one really cool looking energy. So maybe we'll be able to use Ninetales V to our advantage if we can get Colossal V going out next turn. I mean, we're only at like a few steps away. We might be able to escape board. We might top deck a Rare Candy or something like that. That'd be really cool. If we top deck a Rare Candy, we could attack with a Ninetales V next turn. Looks like they're just trying to do some damage with their scoop up nets. Oh, this is spooky. Okay, so there's eight, so they need to get one more. See exactly how it plays out here. I mean, we haven't, I haven't played perfectly this game. If you have any suggestions on improvements, let me know in the comments below, but um, I'm not a perfect player by any means. And sometimes we're just recording the videos and I play Pokemon brainlessly. Um, last game <laughs> or other games that I played with this have gone pretty splendid. So we'll see exactly how it goes here. That's a big max phantom. They're probably gonna put the damage on the Roly Coley just so I can't get set up. Or maybe one of these uh, V or GX Pokemon chilling. Uh, yeah, exactly. You're gonna try to knock out that and knock out that all at once. So they don't have an Absol, that's a Zigzagoon, so we can get the free retreat going on here. So I'm glad we have this skateboard in our hands. There's a Pokecom. Uh, that's so tough. First, before I do anything else, I just want to try to go for Stellar Wish. There's the rare candy. Okay, so we got we got a step out of it. Rare candy into Colossal. There's the escape board. There is our fire energy and it's only fighting pokemon it's not like martial arts dojo i just want to double check there uh let's put this on top of our deck it's not necessarily going to help us too much let's just go for the big old retreats tar generator it does show how the nine tails works nicely in this deck at times we could just power it up as if it was like another one of these pokemon so let's go with nine tails shapeshifter and we're going to go Max Phantom. The Max Phantom isn't going to allow us to draw a prize card. So let's go for... I don't know where to put the spice damage. One, two, three, four. Just put it there because they can't scoop up net that. I'm going to draw a prize card. So it's if we're almost playing Dragapult V Max. Ninetales V does do better in other matchups as well. Um, it just depends on what you're playing against and what you actually are able to copy. So, while it's not looking too well for us and our opponent can bring up some other Pokemon and knock him out, I think they're two boss orders away from winning the game. Oh, and they got the Roxy engine going on here. I mean, it is possible for us to do some things in this game. So, the Resistance killed us. Going with the Ninetales, if the Resistance is really hurting. Building things up with Colossal sounds pretty cool. Maybe it shouldn't be Sanic. Maybe it should be a 2-2 split. Maybe there's other Pokemon we could add in. 
it's really one of those things where this deck has a lot of options tar generator i think is going to be a really good way to power up some other pokemon in the future so keep your eyes peeled for this card if you don't already own it um we, you totally can uh pick some up as soon as possible i think it's going to be a worthwhile investment i mean i could be wrong but y'all the ones who are watching this video so <laughs> i appreciate your faith in me Scoop up net all day, every day. They keep on going with the scoop up nets. Okay, so they're just trying to go Jirachi. I think they're trying to get the boss's orders. I mean, they've already used one boss orders. There's a quick ball. Maybe that's going to be for a Dedenne. Trying to think of what our game plan here is to win this game. Maybe just knocking out uh, this Dragapult and then knocking out the Jirachi and then knocking out the Zigzag. That might be pretty cool. They might be able to knock out some of our Pokemon on the bench though quicker than what we want them to. Yep, that's exactly what it's looking like. I wonder if they play horror psychic energies. I haven't seen any so far, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily matter too much. So there's the 130, and I'm sure they're... I, I don't know if they're knocking out the Jirachi. I mean, I think so? It's a tough call there. So they shouldn't have played the tool scrapper unless they're actively just trying to get it out of their hand. I'm sure they don't really know what this list looks like, so. Uh, let's just see if there's anything we want from Pokemon Communication first. I don't think there necessarily is. I don't care about Sandaconda V that much. I mean, at this point, our opponent's either winning the game or they're not winning the game, so. 180 plus yeah we'd be a little bit short there anyways so let's go quick ball let's get sandaconda i'm just gonna put that there i mean i think our opponent's gonna be able to like spread this around i don't see if there's any benefit we can do 220 i mean they might not have an energy 220 or sorry 210 yeah let's just take the knockout oh i think i screwed that up everyone no there's so many things to worry about when you're playing this deck it's not about <laughs> i i got the wrong energies going on this is a big oof so you can see since we didn't have the fire energy in our discard pile it's actually gonna cost us the game. Oh no, the resistance and the opportunity just to use Santa Conda V for the knockouts definitely caught me off guard. Given our opponent that well played and the heartbreak on our behalf. I mean, they, they might not win this turn. Okay, yeah, they win this. Uh, they don't win this turn. I mean, they're gonna knock out the nine tails v now and then i think they'll probably win next turn oh, <laughs> uh it's it's one of those things where we got to watch out for the colossal just for tar generator it's not any two it's one of each so learn by my mistakes here peeps build that up i mean i don't see particularly how this is going to work out nicely for us great catcher doesn't do anything a skateboard doesn't do anything uh let's see what we do with the primate wisdom i don't think we're gonna get anything off there either nope so we're just gonna go sand breath sand breath gets the knockout we drew four prize cards this game after making some big mistakes but it's not really good matchup. With Dragapult being a very popular deck, this might not be the absolute best deck to play, but it does show how the deck can set up. And if you were playing against a Picaron deck, a Bolton V deck, or any other deck that's not necessarily resistant, it might show how it works a little bit better. It might be a little bit better in those metagames. 
rip us. Well played to our opponents. Yo, thanks for hanging in here all the way till the very end. And I appreciate all y'all. So we saw how Santa Conda V and Ninetales mixed with Colossal are able to get powered up relatively quickly and sometimes dominate against your opponent. Not really the best Dragapult counter if I've ever saw one, but if you are playing against fighting type decks, or de not fighting type decks, decks that are fighting type weak, Santa Conda seems pretty cool. And you got Ninetales too there for the different typing. I could see this deck switching to a 2-2 line of the Ninetales Santa Conda and maybe switching up the energy requirements a little bit. And I can also see Martial Arts Dojo working in this deck or Skyla being able to get out rare candies. So those are some suggestions that I have. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But again, thank you all for watching so far. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Rare Candy YouTube channel. If you want to see more new coming content like this, you can always consider helping out our channel a little bit more by going to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg, becoming a patron there. And you can also go to rarecandytcg.com, pick up some cool swag. As for me, I'm Zach Lesage. Thanks for watching this video. You can follow me on Pokemon at Twitter. So thanks so much and have yourself a good one. Peace out for now.